It's a crime that hits a nerve, all right. Burglars steal pieces of history, all related to the big game. We're talking about the Rose Bowl game. Chase Moffitt is on the story. Six View Live. Yeah, Matt and Jessica, the field goal is a timeless reminder of what is won and lost on the football field. This week, Bill Tate is fighting for those memories once again. If you'll recall, Bill Tate of the 1952 Rose Bowl champions and game MVP, playing for the Fighting Illini of the University of Illinois. He finds himself battling for those memories after a thief struck his home on Tuesday. According to Omaha police reports, they were in and out of the property within 20 minutes while Tate was out walking his dogs. Now, he took us into his room today where the thief or thieves got into his nightstand and stole four rings. Two from that 52 Rose Bowl, his class ring, and one ring from the time he was an assistant coach at Wake Forest. A TV was also stolen from the kitchen, but in the end, what gets to the storied football player and coach are the memories that you simply can't put a price on. My concern is that yeah, you, you can't replace stuff that's uh, priceless. Yeah. That, that's the reason why I was hurt so much about it. And uh, I, and all the memories, you know, that, that go with that. Now, Tate's career spans generation of players he's coached. You may have heard them, Brian Piccolo of Brian's Song and Dick Buckus. We'll explain more and hear more from Tate tonight at 10. Reporting live with photographer Kyle Benneke, I'm Chase Moffitt, WWT 6 News.